Hello, good evening. Hi, Heidi, how are you? Good evening, teacher. What happened to you on, what was it? Monday? Yeah, Monday. Monday. I got, I got this headache again. Migraine? Mm -hmm. You had a migraine on Monday? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you do? It's that I think my, my, my glasses don't work anymore. Oh. Mm -hmm. I know someone who always has the same problem. It's terrible. Yeah. Are you planning on changing them? Yeah. I'll go on um, Saturday to the doctor. To the optometrist. The eyes doctor. Okay. And I'm glad to have you back. Hope I hope you do better with that. You know, I, I've been told I've been told many times that I should wear glasses. Uh, uh, uh. I don't How old are you? <clears throat> How old are you? Haiti, don't make that question that's <laughs> appropriate. No, I'm 44. How old do you think I am? Uh, 35. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank no. you. That's very nice of you. That's so kind. Yeah, I'm 40 almost on January. On January, I'll turn 40. Oh, really? Uh, you'll tell me next year. <laughs> Why? Because I was everything was okay with my eyes, but since I I turned 41, 42, I started everything the, started <laughs> decreasing. I got you. So many years in front of a computer. You know, yeah, yeah I, I when I was teaching. At an academy, we used to have the projector all the time mm -hmm. in front of our eyes. And after a while, after the first six months teaching there, I started getting headaches, uh, feeling my eyes just to be burning sometimes. Yeah, I think the light of the projector was terrible for the sight. Did you have the time to check the class on Monday? Not really. Okay, okay. Fernando, good evening. Good evening. Could you tell Haiti what did we study on, on Monday? Mm, we were with... Mm. We were? I don't remember <gasps> right now. You don't remember right now. How come you don't remember right now? Come on, think, think, think. Mm. Um, ya más o menos. Quiero ver. Estábamos con. ¿Cómo what? se llaman estos? Era. What? <sighs> what? Ways to what 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 kind of expressions did we study on Monday? Uh, helps make mm -mm. no. <laughs> Come on, there were expressions, and this is on page thirty-five, I think. Hold on, yeah, page thirty-five. How to use expressions to clarify a point. Mm. <laughs> yeah, in other words. Yes, in other, in other words. And mm -hmm. they put it, simply put. In other words, uh, did you learn? The, what, which means, this means. Hmm. Which means we have to watch the video again. <laughs> okay. But we started, we started the question with, I mean, the class with a lot of questions, right? Uh, there is a website that I shared with you 
called conversation starters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what we're using now to start the class. Uh, you can visit the website just to get some questions to break the ice. Mm -hmm. It's very useful, very useful. Yeah, I remember. We discuss a lot of questions sometimes. One, one time you send us to a, to a group, we were discussing a lot of questions from those, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's right. I did. Yeah, I did. There was a way to see that, you know, that was better because you used to click next, next. And that, that used to be very useful. I don't know how to get there. Oh, I think I got it. I found it. <laughs> I actually found it. Let me send you this link instead because that way you don't go looking for for the next question, you know, deciding what question to make. You can just jump to the next one and jump to the next one without thinking too much of shall I make this question? Shall I not make this question? Mm -hmm. Simple, yeah. Are you a risk taker? What is the biggest risk that you've taken? I think I am a risk taker. Uh, the biggest risk that I ever taken was stop working for call centers back in 2016. On July 2016, I stopped. I decided to, to keep just teaching, you know, start just teaching all the time. And I spent two years, basically, two years without working at a call center just teaching, just teaching. But then I needed to make more money and I started working in a call center and teaching the rest of the day. That was awesome. That was that was a great risk. I mean, a, a great decision. Okay, that's me. What about you? Uh, what about you, Johnny Vladimir? <laughs> Are you a risk taker? Yeah. Happens. Come on, Danny, wake up. Are you a risk taker? A risk. Uh, what do you mean, in risk? Risk. When, risk taker. Uh, what is what is the meaning of risk risk taker? Is someone who wants to get more. No matter what. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good whatever definition, Yanni. Uh -huh. You do whatever it takes. When you want something, you do whatever it takes. That's to be a risk taker. So, are you a risk taker, Johnny? Okay. Let me give you another example. Uh, my car. That was a risk. Buying a car from 1978. That was a huge risk. The car was too old. And that is one of the biggest risks that I have ever taken as well. And it's going well. Because you don't settle with what you want. What settle. do you mean? Settle. settle? Yeah. This is the, uh, yeah, the word. S-E-T-T-L-E. -T -T -L -E. Yeah, settle. You don't settle. Oh, you don't settle with... Uh, less than what you want. You don't settle yeah. with less than what you want. I got your point. Yes, totally. Just so you run the risk. You run the risk. Somebody to answer this question. Come on, guys. Andres Giovanni, are you a risk taker? No, teacher. No, no? really. I don't like to risk. No. <laughs> you go. You go for the safe things. Yes. Yes. Can you give me an example of that situation? For example, if I have to bet something, I have to think it very much. You have to think yes. a lot. A lot, yes. 
you gotta think it twice you think it twice three yeah. times okay okay this is your job right now go through this tool this is a random topic generator if you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life what will it be haiti <laughs> If you could eat only one, if you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what will it be? Only one thing. Just one thing for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. I already know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I like too many things. Okay. Something. Maybe bread. Bread? Mm. Hmm, that's nosive, nosive. But what I'm thinking mm. is nosive too, uh, chocolate. Mm. Yeah. All, all kinds of chocolate, <laughs> <laughs> sneakers, whatever, you know. I think that's the only thing that I will eat. What about you, Fernando? If you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what will it be? Mm. Maybe, don't, say, don't say pupas. No, maybe good burgers. Good burgers? Hmm. Tough decision. Tough decision. Oh, my God. Okay, so you got this link on your WhatsApp. I'm going to split you so you can speak just for 18 minutes. That's just the beginning of the class. But first, let me do the attendance. Oh, my God. Teacher, the attendance. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Didn't see you before. Okay, let's do this. Uh, Susana Cáceres Mendoza is on the surgery. Said she was going to be as a listener, but I don't see her here. Okay. Um, Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Thank you. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, teacher. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present teacher. Awesome. You love me. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Awesome. We stay for 10 minutes tonight, Irwin. Yes. Awesome. Sorry, teacher. Sorry. It's okay. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present. Thank you. Yoni, cada vez que mueves el micrófono, soy el... I'm sorry. It's really annoying. Okay. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. José Antonio. Not here today. Hope he's good. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Awesome. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. I just saw him. Okay. Jury Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Awesome. Luis Ernesto Romero Ar Argueta. Present teacher. Hey, welcome. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Where are you, Miguel? Oh, I see you. Come on, turn on your camera. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. There he is. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Welcome. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Suleima Ivonne Moreno Hernández. Present. Good. Thank you. Alan Christopher Abrego Grisuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Welcome. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Good. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa, Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, welcome. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. He's driving. Okay, I got you. Present teacher. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Got you. Present teacher. Thank you. Bien, chicos, saben qué? Voy a hacer una pausa por un minuto. Um, José Antonio Cubías parece que no está con nosotros ahorita ok um, hmm. José Alberto Salas Benítez 
Yuri, Yuri eh, Miguel Ángel, no, 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 Luis Ernesto, Luis Ernesto, sí. let me see, William Alexander, Carolina Ivette, uy, um, Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés, Iván Pésame. Manuel, Iván Manuel Jerez, no, no, chicos, permítanme, solo los estoy mencionando, porque se puede decir algo muy importante, Iván Manuel René Alfonso y Wendy Patricia. No pueden faltar esta clase los 120 minutos ni la, ni la clase de mañana que es la última. Por favor, eh, su porcentaje de asistencia pues necesita incrementarse de la mejor manera posible. Entonces, por favor, traten de no, so, no sentarse de ningún minuto de esta clase ni mañana, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Pero posible, ok. Y uh, recordarles que solo tenemos hasta mañana, si es posible, ahora en la noche terminemos todos la plataforma. Eh, estoy seguro de que la mayoría ya, ya ha avanzado y voy a empezar a recordarles desde ahorita que la encuesta eh, se hace en la clase el día de mañana que cerramos, ok. Got it. Ok, so let's okay. practice. We only have 14 minutes for this activity. Hey, try to speak, try to talk, talk, talk with the link that you have on your whatsapp go to the link on your whatsapp and start making questions to your classmates okay i'll challenge you whenever we come back let's go the link Hello. Hello. Mm. I will uh, one question. One question. I generate one question. Is do you real review? about the movie before deciding whether to watch it or not. Do you real review about the movie before deciding whether to watch to watch it or not? Yes, in my case all the time I I read the I decide. Uh, I all time I read about the the movie before to go to to theater because that that you can understand what is going to be the what is going to be what is go, what is the topic about the movie or is adequate for your family and and. And if you, you you see other peers, other people say that that kind of movie is good, and you decide to, I can decide to watch it. Okay. And you, Sandra? Okay, in my case, uh, I like to re review. <laughs> yeah. 
very you 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 practice when practice for your for no your you with your proposal Mary <laughs> if you practice you if you are going to practice when hey, hey Johnny <laughs> it, the, this question is for you man. <laughs> what is the longest that you stay? <laughs> what is the what longest is that you've stayed awake for? I don't know. Are you... <laughs> I thought you you were uh, freezing. <laughs> <But not. laughs> I, I I I lost the the when you say the count. <laughs> mm, I, I I have lost the count. I've lost the I count. count. Okay, come on guys, keep it up, keep it up. Change the question <laughs> if you want. Go on with the next question if you want. Okay. Con what continuing the sleep. <laughs> what is the first thing that you think in the morning? The in my case, I, it's hardly ever, it's hardly, um here here the oh, how do you say alarma the alarm hardly oh, ever alarm. hear the alarm <laughs> hear the alarm but you know what i uh, do i i leave the uh the cell phone away from the bed and my alarm is really loud so i have to nothing. stand up i have to stand up to go and 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 silence and you know but still sometimes i still go to bed after no, turning off in the... my case i try and nothing and then my mom is very bo very bo angry about it because it, all the family wake up and me continuously <laughs> <laughs> oh my um, god we had to <laughs> <laughs> it's, the two, it's the two of us it's the two of us now <laughs> Two of us though. Okay, go hey, on, go on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> what are you what are you most thankful for this year? Mm. Tempo. What is tempo? Tempo. Agradecido. Okay. Agradecimiento. Agradecido. Oh, what are you doing the most tempo for this year? Most tempo is. Yeah, all my family and friends is alive. Are. Are. Oh, yes. Are alive. What about you? What? The the aguinaldo. Christmas bonus. Christmas bonus. Christmas bonus. I like I like to Christmas bonus and go out with some friends. For example, I have a lot of. People, a lot of friends that I can't see during during the year, but in this time, in this in this Christmas time, uh, we 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 have enough time for 
go out together and enjoy some pizza or hamburger and talk a lot of a lot of topic about our our life. I enjoy that about this 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 time. About this season of the year. Okay. This season of the year. Mm. And I enjoy gifts. <laughs> yes, receive gifts in this season in this season of the year too. And yeah. you, Edwin? For me, um, uh, in that moment in my life, I don't have the sociality, sociality friends. I don't have social friends. I don't have a social friends. Yeah. <laughs> only I, I, I live alone, I only work the I just... Monday to Sunday, just only to uh, Monday to Sunday. Only that. I visited my 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 mother, my mom, and I am I have a, a relaxed life. Mm -hmm. uh, my friends, I don't know what happened to my friends. Only I watched my friends in Facebook. Only that. <laughs> so easy. <laughs> So, my question, I can tell, can I tell, can I talk about my question? Yes, go ahead. Okay, take the shower. Um, uh, I, I take the shower in the morning, every day. This is the question. If I take the shower in the morning or, in the, or at that night or in the evening, but I took the shower in the morning at six o'clock in the morning or, or five o'clock in the morning every day because I had to be in my business at like eight o'clock. Yeah. In, in Europe, um, no people take the shower every day. Yeah. What? Yes, in, in Europe, maybe uh -huh. one day after today, no every day. This every is, every other day, every other day. It's on the ascendant, no, every other yeah. day. Yes, because the for this for this case in Europe. Born, born the perfume. Yes. I mean, that, that's the reason why in Europe they invented. Yeah, this is the perfume. They invented yes, the perfume. perfume. Yes, this is the reason. That, that's true. That that's the reason why they invented perfumes in Europe. Yes. People people didn't used to take a shower every day. Yes, it's so difficult. So difficult. I don't know. I, I don't oh. know. I don't know why. I don't know why. Yeah, it's just uh, too cold. Yes, mm -hmm. but in the in the house had a, a calefactor. calefactor. They have calef They have heating. Yes. A heating system, yeah. Yes, but the the culture. Um, Their culture, the, culture, the culture, culture. They have a they have a the, the the system, but not not the people take the shower all days. Every day, is every, every day, day, every day, every day, every day. Yes, every day. I don't know. Okay, I I don't live in in Europe. Is there a day of the week when you don't take a shower, guys? I take a shower every single day. Yes, I don't take a shower. I, I you don't, you don't wake up. You don't, yeah, you don't function. Me too. I don't function if I don't take a shower. I feel I, I don't drink coffee. Yeah, it's like if I was sick. You, you feel like sick if you don't take a shower. I don't know. 
In the summer, it's too hot. You have to take a shower every day. You have to take a shower every day, yeah. So every day, it's, it's every day. It's Not every day. all the people. I have so many friends that they start working at the same as you, teacher, 5 a.m., and they don't take a shower. They supposedly wake up uh, 10 minutes before the chief starts. <laughs> so they don't, they don't take a shower. But they are working at home all day. Uh, yes, in my case, I work at home. Uh, day two, they work at home. Okay. But if you go out, it's necessary. Yes. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, no, this one. Do you prefer to travel or stay close to home? I prefer travel. <laughs> To travel. I to prefer travel. to travel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I, I prefer to travel if it is in vacation, but um, for my experience, it's not, um, it's, it's difficult to travel. Uh, Chalatenango to San Miguel only for from see to, my family from San Miguel only just to see my my family and I live here for my for my job but is but is is good for me but is not for uh, your family yeah for the reason I think is I prefer to travel if it in vacation, but is is for work or for another activity. I prefer to stay near near or in home. Near my house. Yeah, near in my house. And what about you, Haiti hey, hey. or Miguel? I prefer to travel a thousand mm -hmm. times. If I stay home, you know, for girls, we always work. Or we work at work or we work at home. Yeah. And if I go, if I travel, I don't work. <laughs> I have fun. Mm -hmm. So I better travel. So in my case, I prefer to travel. If, if, if for work, for example, depends what kind of work you have. For example, if you have like you. Uh, if you have what? Is it a gusta to draw? Oh, if you like your job. You like your job. It's good to travel, no? It's good to travel. It's good to travel, yeah. <laughs> okay. Your turn, Heidi. My turn. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what position do you usually sleep in? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God, that's a good one. <laughs> what position do you usually um, sleep in? Sleep in. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's correct to say by my left side i oh. sleep on i sleep on a side on a side uh -huh. especially like left uh, especially left but in yes. my case it's correct to say face it, down <laughs> is it is it correct to say facing down facing down yeah okay. yeah <laughs> right thank you for this <laughs> And you, Jose? I don't know if this face up, no doubt. I sleep in face up. I don't know if this correct, teacher. Face down, facing down? No, facing up. Facing up. Yeah. Yeah. 
Do you sleep facing up? Do you use do you snore? I was going to ask for that. It's <laughs> not very much. Like... If I stay... No, no, it's, it's not up of the <laughs> chat. I don't know, it's uh, Boca Riva, I don't know. Yeah, facing up. Yeah, yeah facing up. Mm -hmm. How about you, teacher, do you snore? <laughs> if I sleep facing up since one year ago, um, somehow since one year ago, I'm snoring. Yeah, but nowadays, if I sleep facing up, I, I snore. But all my life, I have, I have always slept um, facing down with my right arm on top of my head and the other arm underneath the, the pillow. That's the way I have always slept ever since I was a baby, they say. I don't know why. Okay. <clears throat> Who's next? Mike, or actually, let's see who's next. Okay. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Okay, let's go with Caroline. <gasps> okay, let's start with Caroline. Haiti, give me a number between one and five, Haiti. Sorry, five. Five, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Ooh, Caroline, what is one of the top things on your bucket list? What is one of the top things on your bucket list? Coraline, come on. What is bucket? What is a bucket list? It's a list, the thing that you want to do before I die. <laughs> like it's a list. Oh. Come on, Alexander, what's wrong with you tonight? It's a list of things that you want to do before you die. Just mm. like the movie, teacher. Just like the movie, and that's the name of the movie, the bucket list. Antes de partir. Okay, definitely travel. travel because... what the... Where? Sorry, sorry. What? Come on. Google is too late. Google is late, yeah. Okay, Caroline, uh -huh. where would you like to travel before you die? Oh, a lot of countries. Um, um... But you only have one option, just one option. Oh no, come on. <laughs> um, Let's say Guatemala. No, maybe Thailandia. Thailand? Thai, Thai, Thai. Thailand? Yes, or... Uh, Why Thailand? I don't know, but... Or Italy. India, because ha, India? it has a lot of... Yes, and Europe, Europe. Europe, Europe, okay. Yeah, let's stay with Europe. But, okay. But? So, because I like to know uh, the cultures, gastronomic, um, and- Astronomy. And know to, astronomy, know a lot of people's, Mm -hmm. A lot of new people. Yeah, I think that's the best part of traveling. I've never traveled out of El Salvador, just to Guatemala once. Mm. Yeah. Antigua. Okay. Antigua. 
they say it is, is beautiful. Okay, great job. Caroline, please select someone and give me a number between one and five. Um, uh, Luis. Hey, good, good choice, Luis. A number between one and five? Uh, three. Three, okay, Luis. One, two, three. Oh, <laughs> Luis, do you believe in love at first sight? You believe in love at first sight? A man answering this question, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's an interesting question. Yes, maybe. I, I, yes, I believe that. Why? I, uh, because uh, I think it, it happened with my wife. Ah, uh, everybody, one, two, three. Oh. Uh, <laughs> be honest. Uh, yes. Really? How did you meet so her? Uh, when, when we were studying. Where? Um, and when we were studying, but uh, we don't uh, met at the, at the, we started a relation on, on, during the third year until the second year. Uh, at the but, university? Uh, yeah. Mm. Um, I study admission first to the to go to the university. University, <laughs> and and I think it, it happens to both um, because uh, um, she told me something like that when we <laughs> um, got married. Mm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Do, but do it, you remember it, the specific moment? when you fell in love that specific mm -hmm. minute yeah <laughs> you do. It's, a, it's a very very interesting um uh story because uh, we was uh we were we, we were <laughs> uh, a boy or uh, no yes uh, she was uh, my girlfriend and i was her boyfriend mm -hmm. during a around uh, six or eight months and they finished their relation. And I think in that point, we <laughs> um, fell in love because we back uh, around six months again. And then we have a year in a relation and then we got married. Oh, okay. So first you broke yeah. up and then I got you. I understand. Uh -huh. Wow. Something similar happened to many of us. Thank you, Luis. Great job. <laughs> Select okay. someone. Select someone and give me a number between one and five. One more person and that's it, guys. Okay. Let me select the big ten. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, no, 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 no. Uh, what about um, about I am, um, four, number four. Okay, but who did you say the name? Ivan, Ivan. Ivan, okay, Ivan. One, two, three, four. Okay, uh-oh, I don't think this question is appropriate. What's the first thing you notice about a girl? I'm gonna jump one more. Ivan. Um, if you became president, what is the first thing you will do? If you became president of El Salvador, what is the first thing you will do? Interesting question. <laughs> uh, I promote... Um, that education and health, 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 okay, health uh, increase their budget. The budget for uh, education and health. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I promote a, a change of cultural uh, 
I don't like uh, politician. Uh, I prefer that uh, politician would uh, be a patriot. You they, prefer being a patriot than being a polit yes. a politic. Yes. So yes. you are you are a politic. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good uh, job. I would remember. I would improve education. I would promote better health. Good. Okay. Good job. Shall we select Thanks. one more? No, that's it, right? Okay. Okay. Hey, awesome. I love watching you guys on the small groups, talking, talking, talking nonstop. That's awesome. Okay, if your camera is off, please try to turn on your camera. Let's go with your topic. Tonight, we're going to start on page 36. Page 36 on your book. There's a conversation starter. The mission for this class is to dis discriminate, huh? discriminate effective from ineffective ways to increase brand awareness. Uh, if you remember, brand awareness is, what is brand awareness? To be familiar with the brand. You or your customers? Customers. Uh -huh. to, ah. make, to make your customers become as familiar as possible with your brand in such a way they always remember you. So what is the best way to get customers' attention towards your product? First question, what is the best way to get customers' attention towards your product? We said it before, the first thing through marketing was? Good campaign. Yeah, but among the campaign, what was it? <laughs> what was it? Spots in TV. <laughs> okay, the spots on TV, how do they have to be? How do they have to be? Come on, what is the first thing that you notice when you see an advertisement on TV? Mm, the price. Is there is a the logo? Yeah. The logo. The colors. You got it. Colors. Right? The first thing, it has to be very impressive logo, a very impressive uh, publicity. And the first thing that you have to be careful with is colors. Um, okay, I'm going to do an exercise for you, a site exercise. You have all of your classmates right now on your screen. If you have all of your classmates on your screen, who is the first one that you notice? Who is the first one that you notice? Okay. Who's the first one that you notice when you see your classmates? Juan Francisco, Fernando, and Heidi. Juan Francisco? William. Yeah, Juan Francisco, but why Juan Francisco? Why Heidi and why Fernando? The color of the background. Yeah, uh, yeah. the color of the background, right? Yeah, that's right. I always notice Jose Antonio with the astronaut on the back. And William, who is in the Hilton always, he's always in the Ooh. Hilton Hotel. Sheraton, excuse me. In the Sheraton, oh my God, in the Sheraton, okay. I thought it was La Pradera, but anyways. Okay, let's move on, so, <laughs> for the next question. Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> hey, many people go to these places to pass the night, you know, to sleep over. So, don't judge, don't judge. Okay, so, towards your product. Colors, colors. What else can you do to call your customer's attention towards your product, to get the customer's attention towards your product? Promotions. Um, promotions. The presentation. The presentation. We go back to colors. We go back to the logo. What about the shape of your product, right? 
the shape. Yeah. You remember the Gorilla Mocus? Yeah. Yes. You remember the original bottle? It yes. was a big one. It was a big bottle, right? Really weird with yellow and orange, green, purple. I mean, what, what other brand comes to your mind when you think about the shape of, of the product? Mm -hmm. I can't think of any other product that calls my attention. Do you know what? Fries. F not the French fries, but the twister fries. Right? I think that's it. There are not too many packages that go out of the normal, you know, the square, the can, the bag. Can't think of any other right now. Okay, but we said it. This is how you call the attention of your customers towards your product. How would you define ineffective and effective ways to increase brand awareness? So if you're trying to call your customer's attention, we already said is marketing, it has to do a lot with publicity, the shape of your product, the color of your product. What could be an ineffective way to uh, do publicity, to make publicity for a brand? Uh, maybe, for example, when I, I am watching a, a soccer match, the publicity is, is about uh, uh, painkillers, painkiller for like uh, Dolo Cream, Dolo Fin Flex. What? Uh, that is a niche of market that they want to, to cap the, att the attention of the, the person that to maybe capture, plays capture, soccer. Capture the attention of the soccer players. Yes. Okay. Uh, That's true, right? Hey, este gol es traído por ustedes por Dolofin Flex. Like, what? What? <laughs> Dolo, Dolo Cream. I'm like, what? Wait, but if you, if you feel pain, what is the the first the first uh, pain killer that you comes to mind to your mind? If I feel pain. Yes. Well, in my case, I don't use any sort of cream or pills. I don't like drinking pills, taking pills, because I have greased liver, so I gotta be very careful. So I gotta be very careful with it. Greased liver. Okay, but but yeah, I got your point. Now, is this effective, Fernando? Is this effective publicity or ineffective? Yeah, I think it's it is effective because they put the, that publicity in the in the in the right moment. The right because place, the right, right place. place, right moment. You got it. If, if that publicity uh, appears in at night when I, I I am watching another content that isn't like sports or another one, uh, maybe not doesn't make sense. It wouldn't. Yes. It wouldn't make sense. It wouldn't make sense. Totally, I got your point. So the right place, the right time the right niche of market, what would be an ineffective way to increase brand awareness and effective, and effective publicity? Okay, have you noticed how they place the ads on the times when you don't watch TV? Have you ever noticed when there's low, when they know that there's going to be low traffic, you know, low low audience on the radio or on TV, you don't listen to very popular products on the on the radio, right? At 3 p.m., at 9 a.m., 10 a.m., you know, at 11 p.m., do you listen to interesting 
products uh, advertising on the radio or the TV? No. No, right? Like, on the other hand, on the other hand, and this is something that I want to uh, point out. I want to point out that during the last five years, 10 years, I will say, during the last 10 years, radio in El Salvador, that, it, I mean, it passed away, passed away. You don't listen to other things in El Salvador in the radio other than conversations, you know, interviews. And in the middle of the interviews, during high peak hours, you know what is a high peak hour? Yeah? Laura Pico. Laura Pico, right? The high peak hours. You listen to radio shows, interviews, and the ads are so annoying. I mean, even, even Noticias Controvision and Teleprensa, they are now giving ads during their speech. Ahora vamos a ver la noticia de un hombre que se murió en el centro de San Salvador, pero antes de pasar con nuestro reportero, recuerden que pueden visitar a Pizza Hut y no sé qué, que no sé cuánto. It's like, what? Right? I'm like, what? That's so weird. They started this year with this sort of promotions, but everything has to do with money, right? So that's your conversation topic right now. You will only have five minutes. You have these two questions on page 36 to start the topic. Let's see how it goes, okay? I'm gonna split you in small groups one more time just for five minutes, guys. So take advantage of the time. Let's do it. Hello. Page 36. Okay. Teacher, it's page 36, exercise. Six? Exercise one, it's on your WhatsApp. Oh, okay. Six. This way to get customers' attention towards your product, how? Would you define ineffective and effective ways to increase awareness? Okay. Let's think about effective or ineffective first. We're going to talk about two questions, no? Yeah, which, what is the best way to get customers attention towards your product? Wow. And the other I, is, how would you define yeah. ineffective and effective ways to increase awareness? Yeah. Well, I think the best way is not lying. It's not lying to people. It's not mm -hmm. lying to people uh, and offering a product that is true uh, or an advertising that is not false, but actually different companies use advertising false uh, for get more more clients when you have to get to get more clients. For example, when you buy the product, you get another product different that you see in advertising. Different than what you see on advertisements. Advertising, yeah. Maybe don't, don't copy others, other brands. Mm -hmm. 
And I think it's a good idea to, uh, how would you say resaltar? It's a good idea to underline or to Other. remark, remark. Uh -huh. To remark the benefits of the product. The companies like the logo Nike, Nike use, they use just a, like a check. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Some companies don't complicate it with logo. And what, how would we find an effective and effective ways to increase awareness? Find an effective. What do you think, guys? <laughs> I, 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 I don't feel, worry about the teacher. <laughs> I, I, I Just talk. so difficult this question. Teacher awareness means conciencia in this in this question. Awareness equals conciencia, yes. Brand awareness is aware to make people aware of the existence of your product. Conscious, yeah, consciousness. To be conscious of your of your product. Ser consciente de tu producto, estar consciente de que existe tu producto. Mm -hmm. I think that I am an effective way, an effective way, way to increase our awareness. Is an excellent marketing campaign for the product on social media and different ways to make that people know the product. Maybe offer a, a good quality for a product or service because if you have a good product, you will have more customers. Or, or when, when people or when consumers talk about the product, service, or brand, um, and then, and then, uh, it is like a mode marketing. Um, for example, uh, there are there are two frames, and one of them one of them say say hey you already tried this product this service or oh you or oh, this company give gives good service uh, has good attention and and the people and. And even in the social media, yeah, the comments or something like that. Okay. I think is when do you another way is um when do when you offer a, a specific service you need to um what do you say complete teacher accomplish you have to comply uh -huh, comply your, comply uh -huh, with comply your promise mm -hmm. your promise your promise 
you, you need to comply, comply your promises because maybe people can try once your product. If, if you don't comply your promises, they never going to recommend you or uh, uh, purchase trust. you again. Mm -hmm. Trust. Um, in one word, trust in you again. And um, one client in satisfier client it, it can be chasing ten clients because the rumors is correct, teacher. Rumors, rumors, rumors. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Are very no rumor. Uh huh. Yeah are very dangerous for your for your brand recording is up One rotten apple can take your business to bankruptcy. One rotten apple can take your business to bankruptcy. If one unsatisfied customer goes around and tells everybody how he, how he feels or how she feels about your product, that's bad publicity. And there is no more nocive publicity than mouth-to-mouth -mouth publicity. The worst part is that that is the publicity that you don't notice, the publicity that you cannot measure, not even with service. With service, with polls, you know, you don't have a way to measure bad publicity. Mouth-to-mouth -mouth publicity, it's difficult to measure it. Okay, um, before we move on, um, let me do the attendance one more time. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher, good evening. Welcome, Welcome Doug. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present teacher. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. She was there. Present teacher. Jenny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Present. Welcome. Josue Alberto Salas Benitez. Present. Juan Francisco Enriquez González. Present teacher. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Roberto Luis Humaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present teacher. Thank you. Zuleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela, Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Thank you. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa, Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present teacher. Thank you. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Thank you. And Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Okay. Good job. Are you home already, Wendy? Yes, teacher. I'm, I'm you made it. Home. You made it. Awesome. Yes, yeah, thanks. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, let's continue. So let's do some reading of a conversation now. Try to follow the intonation, the pronunciation. This is very important. Our next topic is double negatives, okay? <clears throat> me, me, me. I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. 
You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it at least five times last week and fix the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay, so let's practice this conversation really quick. It's very simple. And then we jump into the grammar involved in this conversation. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary on this conversation? Questions? Hey. No, I don't never have <laughs> questions. Okay. <laughs> That's Chica, uh, con razón, en una foto mm -hmm. que salíamos todos mm -hmm. y usted había puesto así y dije hasta Alan me dice <laughs> porque como había puesto ustedes ustedes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my. Photo. oh my god. <laughs> Caroline, your microphone was on. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, guys. Be careful with the microphone. Okay, let's go back. Please repeat, repeat, repeat. I'm going to recreate. We're going to be in small groups, okay? Very small groups. So make sure you join. Let's go. Okay. conversation in the sub. Okay, who we'll start? Me? Okay. Who are you? I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. Sandra? Uh, you mean, pardon, you mean, you don't know anything, Olivia? To start to call, stop changing the logo of your boss business. I notify you changed it as less five times last week and fix the spelling in your slogan. Design happiness does not cover it. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never notify anything. I think you better have a consult, Olivia. They will help you with the business. You mean, Sandra. You mean, okay, you mean. You mean. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, me, Olivia. I am trying to set up online business selling of my dresses, but I don't know nothing about writing or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed it. you changed you know, it at least five times last week and fixed 
the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when in my it. But uh, well, you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything? I think you better hire a consultant. Olivia, they will help you with the business. Oh, okay. Me, Olivia. I'm trying to set a only business selling have made dress, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you call stop changing the law of your business. I noticed you challenge change changes at least five times last week and fix the spelling in your slogan, design happiness. That's not correct. I never notified nothing about that spelling mistake when I made made it, but do not. Is make it look original. You mean you never notice anything? I think you better hire a consultant. Olivia, they will help you with the business. Now I'm Olivia. I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses. But I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You may don't you mean you don't know anything, Olivia. To start to cool and stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it at least, least five times last week and fixed the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about the spelling mistake when I made made it made it. But you know, it makes it look original. To me, you never noticed anything. I think you better hire consult, Olivia. They will help you with the business businesses. <laughs> Business. Business. Alexander. Okay. I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? Who started to stop charging the logo of your businesses or your business? I noticed you charge it. Uh, change. Leave, list. Okay. change it at least five times a week and fix the spelling in your slogan designing happiness that's not correct I never noticed any, nothing about the spelling mistake when I made it but you know it makes it look original you mean you never noticed not, not noticed anything. I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with your business. I feel a little aggressive. Hi. I'm trying to sit on an online business selling a nice dress, but I don't know nothing about branding of, or marketing. Okay, you, you are Olivia. Yeah, I, I, have a, I have a doubt. Uh, it's correct in the second part of Olivia in the last sentence. Uh, said it makes it look. It uh, makes it's correct.
correct that that sentence have to eat? To eat. It makes it look. Yeah, one is the subject and the other one is the object. It makes it look. Okay. But you know, it makes it look original, yeah. But it's, it's really difficult to pronounce. It makes it difficult. Yeah. Yeah. It makes it yeah. look original. It makes it 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 look original. And the first part of Leo is difficult because there are many past, many past. Yeah. The pronunciation is difficult for me. <laughs> In past. Me too. Yeah. Okay, give it another try. Okay. Okay, okay Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Leo. You're not a good friend, Leo. Uh, I'm trying to say an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed, 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 I noticed you change, change it at least five times last week and fixed the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's, that's not correct. That's not I correct. never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it. But you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything? I think you better hire a consult, Olivia. Consultant. They will help consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay. Next, Olivia. Okay. Your microphone one. I Olivia. I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, uh, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed at least five times last week and fix the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness, that's not correct. Juan well, Francisco, you are in mute. <laughs> Sorry. I never noticed nothing about the spelling mistake when I made it for you, you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never notice not anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay, I'm Olivia. <laughs> I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. Okay, okay, you're coming back. Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? Okay, so let's keep going. Let's keep moving um, through your textbook, your student's book. 
Next, we have some um, corrections to make. Let's do it together. So this is exercise three on page 36. Who can help me correct in this? I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. I don't know anything. Correct. I don't know anything about branding or marketing. Okay. I don't know anything about branding or marketing. What about the second one? Hello. I never noticed anything about spelling mistake. I never noticed anything about that spelling mistake. Never noticed anything about that spelling mistake. What was the spelling mistake? Where's the spelling mistake? Designing happiness. Okay, how, where's the mistake? Uh, I think uh, that, I... Okay. continue. <laughs> uh, I think uh, it's, uh, you have to change uh, the place of G and N. Okay, this word. Design. Yeah. So how would you spell it? Uh, I think it's D E S I N G I. I'm in trouble. <laughs> okay, can somebody do that? What's the right spelling here? Sign in. Uh huh. D E S I G N I N G. That's. Designing is correct, right? The one that is not correct is happiness, or, or is it? Okay, you tell I me. Mean, I don't know. It's without a Y. It's without a mm -hmm. Y. It's with without a Y. y it's with an I. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I remember the 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 movie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's the name of the movie? I'm not really sure who. Come on. Um, which calling? Which calling? What's the English. name? I don't, I'm not sure how's it called in English. I'm not sure how's it called. In Spanish, is uh, looking for the. Ah, no. That's not Spanish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the pursuit of happiness. Yeah, happiness. The pursuit, I think. The pursuit of happiness. Okay. Beautiful movie. Okay. So, how to avoid double negatives? Alexander, help me. You're very talkative tonight. Okay. Okay. Two negative in a sentence. This is the okay. Two negative in a sentence are considered ungrammatical. Ungrammatic. No, no, ungrammatical. You, you, you made it, yeah. Ungrammatical. Ungrammatical in English. The recommendation is to avoid using them since the result is that a statement like "I don't know nothing" could be interpreted differently as. I don't know something. I I don't know something. I do know something. Uh huh. Okay, so sometimes when you do double negatives, um, you could be inferring or making emphasis, you know, emphasis on a word. You're emphasizing a word or a statement. You're you're reassuring that you know that and with your excuses, but black people in the, in the United States, they tend to make this grammatical mistake, you know, um, but they consider it normal. They make a lot of grammatical mistakes on spoken English, especially on, on this sort of communities where most of all, there's black people where 
for example, educational levels are not as high as a uh, high school. I don't know. Nobody went to to the university, for example. And these are industrial places in most of all the south, the south and some places on the north of the United States. But they find it common, you know, they find it like it's a simple mistake right who cares about it but it is ungrammatical if you double make a double negative for example um can you continue adita contrast contrast we don't publish nothing on relied to the benefits or of our product we don't publish anything on relate to the benefits or of the Un, company. Unrelated. Wait, wait. Okay, so just the first one. Thank you, Ada. Just the first okay. one. Okay. Repeat. Unrelated. Un, unrelated. Unrelated. Related. Rela related. That's right. Okay. So they they say we don't publish nothing. Mm -mm. We don't publish anything unrelated unrelated to the benefits of our products. Good job. Okay, help me. Elvin, the company. Is Elvin the around? Oh, there you the, go. The companies uh, didn't get no additional sales after the event. The event. The company didn't get any additional sales after the event. Repeat, sales. Sales. Event. Sales. Event. Event. Mm -hmm. The company didn't get no additional sales, sales after the event. After the event. After the event. Mm -hmm. The company didn't get any additional sales after the event. So here, what you have to be careful with is combining don't with nothing, okay? Or a negative with another negative. That's the whole point of this grammar lesson. And the, the last one, I need a volunteer to read the last one. Me too. teacher. Go ahead, Heidi. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the experts never said nothing about the drastic change of image in our products. And the experts never said anything about the drastic change of image in our product. That's right. You got it. So instead of never and nothing, you should say never and anything. Okay. Ahora, en español sí lo hacemos, ¿verdad? Nunca dijeron nada. No dijeron ninguna cosa. Nunca dijeron ninguna cosa. You see? So, it's very common. Now, I want you to go one step beyond. Quiero que se vayan a la extra mía, ¿ok? Give the extra mile. So, I want you to look for examples of double negatives. Just go to Google do a small research, and then we come back to the class with some more information. We're going to work in small groups, correcting these sentences with double negatives, okay? Find the double negatives. And then, really quick, just go on Google and find more examples of double negatives, because I'm sure there are other negative words it's not just don't, didn't, doesn't, no, okay? So go in small groups, find more double negative examples other than other than doesn't, nothing. Okay, you got it? Yes. Okay, good. So exercise five and get more examples. Hey, teacher. Negatives. Come on, guys, you can do it. I know you, you're you very smart. I believe in you. Come on, you can do it.
Talking with the next president of the album. Okay. Okay. Double negative. The number one. In the number one. The department doesn't know nothing about branding. Doesn't know anything. Anything. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Anything. Number two, manager never tell us nothing about the plans to improve the brand of business. Manager never tell us anything. Do you right? Do you agree? Yes. 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 Okay. You have anything. Number three, what do you think, Ivan? Oh, thanks. Um, number three, I am not going to pay no bills when I will be president. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't, we didn't get no increase. No bill. We didn't get increase without, no, no. Mm -hmm. Number four. No, but the number three is uh, uh, yeah, anything. 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 Yeah. Yeah. anything. Number four. Uh -huh. We didn't get increase. Increase in sales after advertising on Facebook. Mm. Uh -huh. What do you think? Maybe it's we didn't get any. Increase yes. in sales. Yes, I think. Sales after any, any, increase. Any, yeah. We change any. nobody. By any. Yes. Okay, and the okay. last one. The last one. One. Customer don't want no change in price. In prices. It's the same to uh, number four. Don't I want don't any know change. because don't have get. No, yeah, it's just change no by any. Yeah. Any change. So, so, so uh -huh. yeah. Don't want any change in prices. Mm -hmm. Okay. Double, double, hey. double negatives. We have to find more examples. Yeah. We need to look another double negative. Um, I'm thinking Example. It says, I would um, I um, maybe when we use want and no. 
Uh -huh. I have other example for if I didn't steal nothing. I did. I did. I didn't steal nothing. Can you, can you please okay. write it in the chat? Can you try to find other examples? Like right now you're using didn't and nothing, right? Mm -hmm. Try to find other examples of uh, negative words that cannot be combined. For example, want and no. Want and no. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's right. Okay. In the past, it's the same thing, teacher. Having nothing, for example. For example. Haven't and nothing. Haven't. Uh -huh. Right. Having and no. Uh huh. Right. Or having and nothing. As well. Correct. Okay. Nowhere, no one, hey, is that you? Anybody, hey, anybody. Hmm. Nobody. And how would you use that in a sentence? Uh, we um, found some exercise. Our examples with a dub double negative, for example, we have, uh, I haven't ever read that book. Uh, so uh, the correct way is, I haven't never read that book. Oh, no, this is like the incorrect way. I haven't ever. Uh -huh. The correct, I haven't never read that book. And the correct is, I haven't never read that book. And the second exercise, or the, sec the second example, she doesn't know anybody. And she knows nobody. And I didn't talk to anyone and I talked to no one. And they can go anywhere, they can go nowhere. I don't have no money. I have no money. I have no money. Yeah. He can make but friends with me, I don't have any money. I don't have any money. I have no money. Yeah. I don't have money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That one did you know good. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? Are you finding new examples, other examples? Uh, we're looking on in the right now. 
Um. What other examples have you found? Found. Uh, for example, I can't get no satisfaction. I can get no satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Can't and no. Exactly. But is this, is this grammatically correct or not? It's grammatically incorrect. But it's acceptable. <laughs> and yeah, as I told you, you know, it's up to the culture of, of these places, you know, this country is in the United States is like a common thing to hear people using double negatives and nobody saying anything. Yeah, whatever. Okay. That's the thing. That's the whole point. What about our, our responses? What do you what, think? What do you mean? What do you mean? Um, or answers about the, the questions. Oh, I'm sorry. The samples. The department does not know anything about branding. Yeah, the manager never tells us anything about the plans. I do not have anything against billboards, but mm. yeah. <laughs> I have I have nothing. Sounds better. I have nothing against billboards, but I have nothing. I have nothing against billboards. That sounds better. You did it right. You did it right, but you, there are other ways. We didn't get no increase. We did not get any increase. Okay, you could also say we got no increase. It's okay. The customers do not want any change in prices. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. That's okay. Mm, okay, I'll yeah, I got your point. Excellent. Dun, 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 are you doing? We are researching about. Have you found TikTok? anything? TikTok? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I found some words that is using for for double negatives. Hmm. For example, barely, hardly, barely, sparsely, yes, simply, seldom. So and I was reading about uh, the lyrics of the the songs. Sometimes. Uh, uh, don't don't make sense. Don't make sense, uh, or don't how do you say? Don't follow these these rules. They're correct. They don't follow rules. In many lyrics, that's true. Alexander was saying, "I can get no satisfaction." Yes. Uh, never wanting nothing more. <laughs> um, what? Yeah. Christina Aguilera is, I ain't not other man. I'm not other man on the planet, that's what you do. It wouldn't be nothing. Again, come again? It wouldn't be not nothing. It wouldn't be nothing. OK, 
Okay, I think it's time. Let's go back. Let's see what the others have to say. Okay, let's keep going. So what did you find? I would like to see your comments on the chat. What other examples did you find? Meanwhile, let me just go with the book to see the answers. So the department doesn't know anything about branding. What's the, the answer for you from you to that exercise? The department doesn't know nothing about branding. What's the correct sentence? The department doesn't know anything about branding. That was the most logical, uh, the most logical correction, right? Changing nothing for anything. Does anybody uh, have something different? No, this thing. Shame. How else can you say that? No idea? Okay. Acuérdense que hay una regla en las terceras personas que es muy utilizada por los americanos de hecho y es modificar, y lo digo en español para que quede bien claro súper rápido, no tenga que extenderme mucho en esto porque es algo bien sencillo en teoría. Eh, pero que sí, hay que tomarlo en cuenta siempre. Eh. This is an every, everyday spoken English. So, lo que haces es notar una cosa. ¿Tenemos una tercera persona aquí, sí o no? Of course. Okay. Yeah, the what's department. the third person? The department. Okay, so entonces, si es una tercera persona lo que tenés y vas a negar, vas, sí, vas a negar. Eso solo funciona con negativas. Para evitar poner el auxiliar, lo que vas a hacer es modificar el verbo de un solo a su tercera persona. ¿Ok? The department knows. Dirías knows. Exactly. Thank you, Heidi. Knows nothing. The department knows nothing about Brandon. She knows nothing. He knows nothing. ¿Ok? She knows nothing about it. ¿Ok? Next, the, the manager never tells us nothing about the plans to improve the brand of the business. Ojo, en este ejemplo, borro o no utilizo el auxiliar, ¿ok? Ese era el punto del ejemplo anterior. Just don't use it. The department knows nothing about branding okay next the manager never tells us nothing about the plans to improve the brand of the business anything anything again so you're changing nothing for anything following the previous example you could just say the manager tells us nothing about the plans to improve the brand of the business and yeah, they tell us nothing you know that's the way it is Okay, next, number three. I don't have nothing against billboards, but the truth is they are too expensive. How else? I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Uh-huh. How else can you do it? I haven't. Hmm. I have nothing against i have nothing against billboards you got it i have nothing against billboards but the truth is they're expensive hope you're catching this i hope you're catching this number four we didn't get no increase in sales after advertising on facebook Julia? we didn't get any increase 
Instead yeah. Of that, yes, Correct. You can replace no for any. So we didn't get any increase in sales after advertising on Facebook. How else can you, can you do it? Exactly. You move the verb to the past and you say, we got nothing. No, no, no. We got, we got no, no. we got no. We got no increase in sales after advertising on Facebook. We got no increase in sales. We got no salary increase. We got. And the last one, the customers don't want no change in prices. The customers don't want any change in prices. Right, simple. Or how else can you do it? Fernando, did you get it? Uh, the customers uh, don't want, ah, oh, wants any, no change. The customers, plural, want, want no, no change. change in prices. No change in price. The customers want no change in prices. Prices. Okay. Ese es un tema de investigar, chicos. Hay que rebuscarse un poco más. Siempre tratar como de usar diferentes cosas te va a ayudar a entender que hay miles de maneras de decir las cosas en inglés. Al igual que en el español, lo mismo ocurre, ¿no? No es algo complejo, es solamente de entender que el lenguaje en inglés, en francés, en chino, siempre es igual. En ese sentido, puedes ocupar diferentes cosas para decir la misma cosa. Okay. Good. Uh, teacher, hey. eh, en el chat este, compartí un link donde está como una explicación acerca de las de los doble negación tal vez para que lo puedan ver excellent thank you thank you today mom okay guys good um so les dejo por esta noche me quedo solo con who Irwin yeah Irwin stay in ten minutes where's Irwin here there he is okay so Uh, les veo mañana siempre a las 8 para nuestra última clase repito por favor terminar la plataforma no realizar la encuesta de evaluación del curso hasta mañana la vamos a realizar en la clase ok y por favor terminen la plataforma eso es como bien urgente I'll see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock voy con el listado señores déjame desconecten permítanme las... yep. tal vez pueden mandar el correo para que nos manden los datos específicos de cada uno. No, a mí, a mí no, no, a mí no me ha caído. Y ahora escribí en el chat eh, solicitándolo, pero no me respondieron. Escríbale directamente a Elena, porfa. Igual yo le voy a rec recordar a ellos ahorita. Okay. Vale, gracias, teacher. You're welcome. Ana Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Good night. Good Alexander night. de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Elvin Alcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present, good night. Good night, Irwin Lagos Andrade. Good, Heidi. Present, present, present. <laughs> Thank present. you. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Uh -huh. Take care. Take care. Good night. Good night. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present, good night. Good night, Roberto Luis Omeñorellana, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Thank Present. you, Sandrita. Thank you, William. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. More good night. Uh, good night, Alan Christopher Abre Gorizuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present, good night. Good night. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. 
Listen, good night. Good night. Isabel Liliana Miranda Espinosa, Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Listen, good night. Good night. Okay, René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Don't miss tomorrow. No se pierdan la clase de mañana. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Good night, teacher. Present. Good night. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Mr. Lagos, how are you? How's your day going? Did you sell? Oh. Did you sell today? In the, the battery. Mm -hmm. How was the yes. sell? How were the uh, sales? It's okay, but uh, this is the one business that I have. Yeah. This is the one business. I got the other business is to buy, for example, house. To buy a house. Okay. Yes, I have, but the, the, the La 29 Plaza is a, is a place, but I had a one business for, I sell the battery for to give the lead the La 29 Plaza, but my, my, how to say, my business is. My, your the, main, your main business. My business is uh, to buy house. Buy houses. Buy houses and to fix. You buy houses, repair them, and then sell them. Rent. You rent them? Yes. Awesome. It's so difficult. So difficult because you don't have a house in San Salvador. You don't, you don't. You don't have. You, you, it's so difficult. When you, when you want to buy, but for example, La 29 Plaza, it was a Old house. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So easy. That is the internet plus. Okay. My house, this this house, I bought uh, with I bought the low it. price. I bought it with the low price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my house. The next house I bought, I bought it with the low price too. Yeah, I have two houses, I have two houses, three houses. Three houses. Yeah, that this is my house. But the next, the next, the next, my house is four to seven. The next four to nine, I have two houses. You have two houses I, together. Yes, two together, houses. together, yes. And the next house I rent mm -hmm. and I live here. Mm -hmm. but I this is I bought the, the last year. No, the year. The, but the business. The time for one business in one house in El Salvador is six months or one year for to try to buy. Mm. Yeah. It's so difficult. Yeah. And, and you, have, you, you need a lot of money, okay? Because when you, when you buy a house to fix, um, the bank never gives you the money. Mm. Yeah, if you go with a loan, if you go with a loan, it's very difficult. Yes, but I need to buy a one one house on Friday, the new house, the other house. Mm -hmm. um, maybe, maybe it will be a good business. Maybe I don't know. Hopefully, yeah, I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe I will to buy on, on Friday. I will buy. I will buy on Friday. I will give the uh, five thousand dollars and the rest the money on January. Yeah, the first week, the first week of January. Maybe. Hopefully. It's a it's other house, but um, it's another. Yeah, the other. It's another house. Another house. Yes, another house. Um, this is so difficult to make a business. But you know, um, real estate is always a good business. Yes, in the United States, yes. Here but in this, El Salvador, too. Oops, it's so I mean, deep. You the, need bureaucracy, a lot of the bureaucracy the, of the you need, process. You need a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a good problem. The it's, bank is so difficult. Banks because, are difficult, yeah. yeah. Because, uh, for example, when 
I bought the next house, never, never bank want, uh, wanted the money. The bank didn't want to give me this money. Okay, the yes. money for the house. Okay. I try, I will buy, I, <laughs> sorry, I catch it, I catch it uh, cash. I will pay cash. Yeah. They didn't want to. Yeah. And after that, now, when I I'll finish it, the fix it, or all the things, you can sell easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's in my business. It's so difficult. But in the end, are, are you able to rent them yeah, easily? I, yes, because. Uh, when you have a money in the bank, when you have you money, have, when you have money in the bank, uh -huh, uh, uh, the is is not good business. Yeah, in the bank. Yeah, because the money is not doing anything for you. Yeah. I got your point. Yeah, you have to keep moving the money so you yeah, can yeah, yeah. make some more money out of it. <laughs> yeah, but this is a good problem. In El Salvador, it's a, a, to, bueno, si te compras una casa barata, es un éxito. Yep. O oh, si <laughs> compras la casa barata y, a la, y la plusvalía se dispara de repente. La, la plusvalía en El Salvador no se dispara jamás. Es bien yeah, it does. Acaba de pasar a... en Surf City. Ah, es, es un fenómeno especial. Acá, a mí me pasó, sí. yo compré esa casa en 65 y a los 5 años ya valía 75. No, es que, es que la casa, las casas, las casas siempre suben un 10%, 20% cada 5 años. Ajá, ajá. Uh -huh. Ese pero, es un hecho pero ¿sabe qué influyó? Que, que um, pusimos portón. Ah, sí. Con... sí, Uy, sí pues, cerramos sí. todo. Sí, sí, eso funciona. Estoy comprando una casa ahorita, que por eso cansado, yo vengo bien tarde, porque me toca estar cerrando ese negocio, por ir para acá, que es mío. Entonces, tengo que cerrar el negocio mañana, no, el viernes. Uh -huh. Está como a dos cuadras, como a tres cuadras de mi casa. Ya, está funcional. Entonces, como primero compré la, 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 compré la dos, ¿verdad? la mía estaba destrozada y la para estaba destrozada. Entonces, para de, porque me meto en reparación a la que sigue, tengo que reparar la mía. Entonces me ha quitado tiempo reparar la mía. Qué mal esto. Yo odio la construcción y esa es mi vida. Cuando I was, when, when, when began the class, I felt so tired. So tired. I don't remember nothing about English. <laughs> yeah, so teaching. And my internet is so bad too. Uh, not right now, but yeah. Don't worry. In that, in that moment, I'm working with, the, with, with, my, with myself. I don't have internet. Well, it happens. And don't you worry. Teacher, how, and you, teacher, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm just tired, a little bit tired, but we're finishing tomorrow and then I will be able to rest. The thing is that I'm, I'm painting the house. Whoops. <laughs> I know. The whole so house, the whole house since... Sunday. We started on Sunday and we are not done yet. We are not done yet. And you oh, know what's, what's the worst part? We bought the paint at El Caballo. Do you know El Caballo? In, uh, no. You don't know El Caballo? In, uh, uh, it's a hardware store in it's Mercado, Mercado uh, Modelo. No, wait. Near to Sagrado el Corazón, Mercado. Oh my God, es, es tan popular ese lugar. El Mercado Belloso. ¿Ya? Yeah? ¿No? Belloso, no. Uh, ¿Ya? Yeah? Yeah. El Mercado Belloso, pues ahí en el centro comercial, ahí está la ferretería y el caballo. La única que está en la esquina. Pero el punto es que la pintura salió malísima. Malísimo, malísimo. ¿De color o de, o de...? Ah, la calidad de la pintura era muy líquida la pintura. Entonces, tuvimos que dar cuatro manos what, en algunas what, paredes. What, ¿De qué marca era? Pinzal. Ah, sí. Sí, lo barato le, sale caro. Sí, ¿cuánto le costó? 25 a la, 
el, ¿cómo se llama? La cubeta. La cubeta por 25 dólares. Está no. barata. No, no, no. Esa es la mejor corona. Sí, yo sé. Sí, esa, es, con esa pintamos hace cinco o tres años, que no me acuerdo. En, en pintura económica sale corona. Yo, cuando compro pintura para negocios, por ejemplo, eh, porque es más fácil comprar por eso, en el San Miguelito ahí compró de todo usted, barato. Cuando existía... Ah, ah, no, 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 sí. la, la, la ferretería que está en el otro lado de Marinero. Ah, ya, ya, ajá, ajá. Ahí compro yo. Sí, 20 dólares más o menos. ¿verdad? 20, 22 dólares. Sí, suele, sale muchísimo mejor. Ay, pero bueno, lección aprendida, así es la vida y pues ahí vamos. Es, okay. el, tiempo que, es el tiempo que, están, que, que quedan guardadas las pinturas, se cortan. Ya, sí, no, no pero en este caso están súper líquidas, eso es el problema. Sí, se corta, eh, con, el, se, se corta con el tiempo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Bueno, Irwin, okay. ha sido un verdadero placer. Ahí me saluda a Ever, que dígale que muchas gracias por la reparación, quedó súper bien okay, el sistema eléctrico. Al, al rato llego por ahí. Estamos, <ríe> okay. estamos, estamos. Good night, Irwin. Take care. Good night. Take care. Take care.